Most framer templates don't sell, and it's not because they're bad, but it's because of these five common mistakes. I've sold over 3,000 templates on the framer marketplace in the past two years, and I see these five mistakes all the time. So in this video, I'll break them down and show you exactly how to avoid them. Mistake number one is inappropriate design. Another very big thing your template needs to accomplish is that it needs to convince the user that they could actually build their own website with your template. And if your template lacks very important elements like sections, or maybe it just looks too difficult to customize, then the user might not consider your template. Now, the second part of this problem, which is, in my opinion, a bigger problem than the first one, is too simplistic designs. I made this mistake quite a bit in my early days, but back then it wasn't as bad because you could get accepted with an actual simple design and still make quite a few sales because there wasn't as much competition. But as more and more people started selling templates and the better and better the quality got, my simpler templates rarely ever make any sales. And that's because why would somebody pick my template, which is simple and basic, versus something that looks a lot cooler and accomplishes the same goal as my template. So how you fix this if you're facing the first part of the problem? problem is simply make sure that your template has everything your target customer needs and also that it looks easy to customize. And for the second part of the problem, you simply need to spend more time in the design phase and coming up with more unique layouts that actually look cool. Mistake number two is not having a clear niche. If you try to build a template for everyone, you're building a template for no one. That's because buyers are looking for specific solutions in their industry. An email marketing agency, for example, might want case studies while a photographer might want a big gallery of images. So it's very important to pick a very clear niche and think about what types of sections and what types of functionality your target audience will need if they want to build a website. And how you solve this problem is pretty simple. Simply pick a niche, think about what your users need and build it. Mistake number three is bad thumbnails and weak marketing. If your template doesn't grab the attention of the user as they scroll through the marketplace, no one will click it, no one will explore it, and no one will even consider buying it. This is how important your thumbnail is. And again, I've made this mistake in the past and what I've done is I've actually gone back and updated some of my old templates thumbnails and I immediately saw an increase in views. So this again proves that a good thumbnail is super important if you want your template to actually get noticed. That's because the first impression is what drives the clicks and if your thumbnail is bad, you will have no visibility and your template will eventually get buried in the framer marketplace. So how to fix this is you need to use bold, benefit-driven thumbnails that have strong, scannable visuals. You basically want it to scream at the user and make them want to click on your template. Mistake number four is giving up after one rejection. I've seen this happen with people all of the time. And I get it, it can be very hurtful, it can be very discouraging. I mean, you put all of your energy and all of your time into building a template, you submit it, and a few days later, you get rejected by the Framer team. And if you give up here, you will never make it in this game. And in fact, my first three templates got rejected, my fourth one only got accepted, and it actually ended up selling $3,000 in the first month. So I hope this motivates you to keep going even if you end up getting rejected, and the chances are if you're building your first template and you try to submit it, you are most likely going to get rejected. But that doesn't mean you should give up. You should either try to improve your template and submit it again, and if you get rejected again, I would suggest to design a completely new one, try to analyze what works on the marketplace, and try to replicate it with your new template submit it again and eventually you will start seeing what framer want and you will get accepted and you will start making money with framer templates. Mistake number five is launching once and then going silent. I mean this might work if you want framer templates to be just a side income and if you have only one template up on the marketplace you might get a few sales here and there but it will be nowhere near enough to sustain a full-time position. In my experience only when I started having around five to ten templates in the marketplace and that's a mix of free and paid templates is when I started actually earning enough to replace my day job income. Currently, I have around 24 templates on the marketplace and I'm making well more than my previous full-time job as a web designer. So having more templates means you will get more visibility and you will have a higher chance of making sales and making more money with Framer templates. Another part of this mistake is not trying to promote your templates outside of the marketplace. I personally do that here on YouTube and also on my Twitter where I post some work 
work in progress screenshots and I make giveaways whenever I launch a new template. I also have a Pinterest account where I post weekly some of my designs and link them back to my own online store where I sell my templates. So that's another thing I do to promote. And finally, I invest in SEO for the past two years and I'm getting around 3.5K visitors to my website per month. And this is also a big part into actually growing your audience outside of the Framer Marketplace. So if you avoid these mistakes, I'm sure you can succeed with selling Framer templates. And if you wanna take the fast track, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're interested, you can check out the link in the description or you can join our school group where I have a full 30-day course walking you through how to launch your first template. And also we have weekly feedback posts where you can submit your designs and I will personally review it and give you feedback. So if you're interested, again, the link is in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.